Why is wholesaling so hard and what can we do to make it a little bit easier? What's up YouTube, Biz Matthew here. In today's video, I'm going to talk about why wholesaling may be difficult, especially for beginners. And I'm also going to talk about what can we do as wholesalers, as beginner wholesalers in this industry to make it way much more easier and just make the learning curve way much shorter. All right, let's get right into it. So the first thing I wanna talk about why wholesaling real estate is hard is because it is hard it's not easy that's the first point of this video yes you realize that wholesaling is hard it's difficult that you're not a pro you're not as much of a real estate professional person that you thought you were and that's a great place to start to realize that something is difficult that is going to take a good amount of work in order to get used to something or get used to a specific skill in your real estate business and wholesaling is difficult because number one you have so much competitors. There are so many other wholesalers vying for the motivated sellers that you are vying for. So it's not easy because of competition. Another reason why it's not easy is because of regulation coming to this industry. There's a lot more regulation coming to this industry with states requiring you to hold a license in order to wholesale real estate, maybe some sort of certification in order for you to conduct business in your county or in your city. And also another reason why it's difficult is because because of inflation, you know, home prices are so much more higher and some property owners may be able to point out that you're not skilled. This is your first time doing this. And now that their property values are worth like 500 grand, they'll be less likely to trust in cash buying investor as opposed to going to the traditional route and going with realtor. All right, so what can we do in order to make it a little bit easier? So one thing that you could do is start working with a wholesale real estate company. I I think now more than ever, it's so important for beginners to reach out to other well-established wholesaling companies and maybe be an acquisition manager for a company or be a cold caller for a company and learn the ropes of this business. And you get to have contacts when you're working with this business, you know, like different investors that they work with, you get to know the best title companies and just the whole process of wholesaling. And since you're behind a big company, behind the owner of the company, like you won't receive all the backlash or all the criticism because you're just part of a company and that will help a lot of your fears to go away especially if you're looking to start as a beginner and you're kind of scared to talk to sellers or contact investors or look for title companies all of that will be solved by working with a wholesaling company so the next reason why I want to talk about why wholesaling is hard and what we can do about it is that number one it's hard finding motivated sellers and most homeowners want top dollar for their properties, but we are not going after those people. We are going for the 1.4 million properties that are either vacant here in America or even more properties that are in distressed situations. So how can we alleviate that? How can we find motivated sellers? So I have a ton of videos about me talking to sellers, me cold calling, me finding the best motivated seller list using, for example, ProStream or Batch Leads. If you're interested in either of those companies, check the links down below. But the one thing to realize with finding motivated sellers is that it's a numbers game. So you have to make sure you call a good amount of people, you, you send out a good amount of postcards, you pay enough for um, Google PPC in order to rank the highest on search in your local area that you're wholesaling in. And it's just the classic pull a list, get some way to market to the people and then cold call that list or market to that person. And I know like that's probably the most difficult part of wholesaling is just finding sellers, finding people who are willing to sell their property a little bit lower than market value or they're willing to sell it as is, right? It's as is value based off of the repairs and rehab needed on the property. And that's your focus in your wholesaling business. Get that down pat. And I'm learning for myself you all too because I'm in the process of hiring cold callers because I realize this is the most important part of the business it's just finding callers in order to market to sellers finding sellers in order to close your deals so if you're going to invest any money if you're going to start hiring people if you want to concentrate on one thing in your wholesaling business to make it less hard is to concentrate 
on finding motivated sellers and talking to them, getting in front of them. And even though that may be the hardest part, once you get that part down pat, all the other steps, all the other details with wholesaling becomes easy. So that's another way to make wholesaling easier. So why is wholesaling hard? The third reason I wanna talk about is mindset. I made sure I started with the practical steps of things, you know, talking about seller leads, talking about how, yeah, it's not easy, it's pretty difficult and different ways that we can practically do in our business to make it less daunting, less difficult. But I've come to find out that mindset is key, right? Because as a beginner, I had these thoughts too. Let's say, oh, I'm going to talk to a seller over the phone or I'm actually going to meet a seller in person for the first time. I made my first appointment. You know, these doubts and fears come to your mind, especially as beginners. Like, are they going to take me serious, right? Am I actually going to be able to answer all their questions about properties, about transactions and other things like that. And that's a mental barrier that you have to break down because once you're able to break that down, you're able to, it just makes the process way more easier and way more peaceful, right? You're all like, okay, I'm not going to get affected by someone to say no to my offer, right? There are tons of other opportunities out there. Have that in your mindset, change your mindset to that and just trust the process, you know, believe that, hey, if Biz Matthew can close a deal and I'm just an average guy, you can too. And when you have that in the forefront of your mind, it makes it easier when you go to the seller and talk to them. You know, those fears are lessened, those doubts are lessened also. And also another thing is to think back on other risks that you've taken before in the past. Like it wasn't as bad as you thought before. So for example, me, when I first started my entrepreneurship journey, I ended school, I was working as an accountant. I was like 22, 23 three years old, I was just in the grind, the nine to five grind, and I didn't enjoy it at all. But one thing that stood out to me, someone that inspired me was one of my friends. He took this leap and started being an entrepreneur like midway during college and even after college. And I would remember some people like making like these sly jokes about him doing this hustle or that hustle. All of us were just working nine to five jobs. And then I just started thinking about it. I was like, hmm, we're all 21 or 22 years old this is the time when we should be doing this we shouldn't be like making jokes at this guy we should be doing what he's doing because this is the time to do it in our early 20s when we have no responsibility right yes we need food and shelter but I don't most of us didn't have any like spouses or children or anything like that and so that changed my mindset I was all like okay let me take this risk let me jump into entrepreneurship because I know this is what I want to do long term and this is the perfect time to make mistakes and just fail, right? Because the worst case scenario is that I'm 21 years old and I have to move in with my parents, with my mom or with my dad just for a few months. And then or another worst case scenario is that I get back to working a nine to five job as an accountant making decent money, right? And so when you look at it like that, you know, it just changed your mindset on everything. And so make sure you look at the different risks you've taken before in the past and how it wasn't that bad and how this risk of wholesaling real estate and going in front of a homeowner, a seller, isn't as bad as you think. All right, you all, so wholesaling is hard, but these are different ways that we can make it easier. So number one, I talked about how it is hard, you know, but there are ways to make it easier. I talked about finding motivated sellers is super hard, but there's different resources that you can use. And if you concentrate on killing this big giant of finding motivated sellers, every other detail in this business will be easy. And then number three, we talked about mindset and how believing that you can accomplish something and also just looking at past failures, maybe past risks you've taken, that it isn't as bad as you think. And you all, I'm actually kind of talking to myself because these are all areas that I need to improve on in my business and just in my lifestyle. But I hope you all enjoyed this video. Be sure to give it a like, subscribe, comment down below, check out the different resources, tools down below if you're interested. And yeah, I'll talk to you all later.